Hello, hello, here I am. How are you doing? It's Grim Dawn. Uh, there we go. It's Grim Dawn. <laughs> How's the day treating you? No! Mad Hat, how you doing? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll keep you stash safe. I've come once again. You can remember me. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better, man. Oh, jeez, that's brutal. Have you been at least taking it easy? It's safe with me. Promise. Yeah, it's been sick since the holidays. That's kind of brutal. Come see what's left of my wares. Oh, that's cool. It's awesome that you have the opportunity to do that. Just like, you know. Well, okay. I'm I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. A, uh... <laughs> not having the ability to stay home sick is a little brutal. But I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm good. It's good to see you, bud. I mean, a, uh... Missed you this last week. I, uh, just kind of getting in the swing of work. I'm taking my first day off in three months. Uh, it felt really weird. Threw me off for the rest of the week. <laughs> well, we're back in the wagon again. I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Have you had a chance to get any gaming in? remembering correctly I think I made it all the way to uh, yeah these guys mainly yammering like a madman without actually a uh, paying attention to what I was doing but. but in terms of a uh, lethal company I've been a uh, I hear ya. Yeah, that should be awesome. The uh, getting that Skaven run going. On my off time, I've been watching some a uh, Warhammer 2 a uh, YouTube videos, kind of seeing if I want to dive into it. It looks like a lot. <laughs> I've not been too huge in the Warhammer, uh, or not sorry, in the a uh, Total War series, but. There's probably a uh, decent place to uh, start. That skill's not ready. Uh, please, please, thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was going to change my stun jacks into uh, what is this? Crimson Briar. That's cool. But yeah, I was gonna change my Sun Jacks into Flashbang. I've tried it. It's a, uh, it's tried and true. But yeah, in terms of a, uh, lethal company, one, a, uh, we came out with a strat that seems kind of cool, getting, like, the last level stuff. But, uh, most of all, I've been looking into, uh, seeing about getting some mods. Hopefully... I can make that work instead of being a technological curmudgeon. And then a, uh, you don't know my turmoil. Safe journey. And yeah, hopefully, like, I've been seeing, like, the, uh, Skinwalker mod sounds really cool. The, a, uh, here we go. Flashbang. I don't know. I haven't really looked through them all that much. Safe story. I've been doing some investigation. Did you at least have a good, uh, good holiday? 
or a holiday week, uh, besides getting sick. Uh, that's always awful. Aw awful. It's awful. <laughs> Blues. Good. I'm glad dear. I know it tends to be a lot towards the end of it too. Or at least in my family, it's there's a lot of demands in my presence, and a uh, you know all I can do is oblige. <laughs> uh, this character is turning out pretty good. I'm liking the uh, flashbang. Well, okay, I'm not liking the flashbang. I just got flashbang. But getting guys to run around like madmen seems to be <laughs> pretty good. Just going the grenadier route sounds fun. A, hey, uh, I think I got the grenadier shoulders. Yeah, give me a good old canister bomb. There's just something refreshing about a, uh, going against the Eldritch, a, uh, monstrosities with the equivalent of, oh my goodness, with the equivalent of, uh, Duke Nukem's pipe bomb. <laughs> Boy, am I taking a lot of damage. I forgot, this character is, like, absurdly squishy. Like, to an almost unreasonable degree. Does a ton of damage, though. I just gotta relearn how to play. Also, I was doing a little research I, uh, yesterday, and... I'm kind of at an impasse. I don't know. Because uh, two things are coming out uh, in February that I'm absurdly excited for. Firstly, the uh, Shadow of the Erd Tree for Elden Ring. Of course, it's going to be amazing. And that would actually be a uh, probably a good reason to dive in again and beat Elden Ring, finally. But secondly, February 22nd, Pacific Drive is coming out. Which is another game I'm, like, stupid excited for. So, I don't know. February's gonna be a big month. <laughs> that skill's not ready. Nope, nope. Yeah. Okay, guys, you gotta stop chasing I me like that. I can't do that yet. These man scores hit so hard. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. They're man scores, but still. Oh, that's why they're level thirty-nine. That skill's not oh, ready. Well, I was actually thinking a, uh, I might start Elden Ring next week. I mean, I've still got Outer World going, which is a game, or Outward, which is a game I very much enjoy. I'm not going to lie. That game is pretty legit. Uh, I mean, I've already beaten a uh, Amnesia, although that was a uh, day of a lack of sleep. So that was a good couple streams. I'm, of course, going to keep doing this until, God damn it, I win. What? Poison pants? Where were those? I dare say this one be slightly better. But yeah, I was thinking of a uh, get, uh, getting a start, like adding it to the rotation Elden Ring, just because, one, that game is awesome. 
Uh, but the fact that, uh, have it ready for the DLC. At least that's what I'm gonna try to do. No promises, of course. <laughs> uh, slow resist. Bleed resist. Eh. I haven't actually done a, a lot of research into Shadow of the Earth Tree myself, but I don't know where in the story it's supposed to be. So I figure if I have an already established character, I'd be able to, a, uh, you know, in some practice, I'd be, like, ready to go as soon as it comes out. And, you know, I could probably do that in two weeks. <laughs> I mean, no promises, of course. And, of course, Pacific Drive. I mean... That looks like just a badass simulation game. I'm, I'm gonna play that no matter what. On my own time, on my off time, it just looks super cool. I, the spider scared me and I forgot how to push buttons. I don't know if you ever gotten to the point where you just start slapping the keyboard with the expectation that something good happened. <laughs> Usually immediately after scratching your nose on a game that doesn't pause. Boy, that's a lot of spiders. That was a crappy grenade. <laughs> oh my god. They are officially everywhere. Get away from me. Get away from me with those blood waves. Yeah, this game's pretty good, and they, uh, I don't think I've done any research, well, I know I've not done any research, but a, uh, when the, uh, new expansion's coming out for this one, which, I mean, I'm probably still gonna be trying this challenge till then, knowing me. I'm just gonna have, like, one off day, and then the character's done. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. Okay. Can't do that yet. How did you figure out how to do that? Ah, uh, crap! I can't do that. Can't yet. say I'm in love with that charge attack. Or whatever the hell these guys are coming from. Oh yeah, I forgot the added benefit of when I get hit, I throw a bomb. Jesus. heal is huge. Okay, I'm kind of running out of real estate here. Can't do that. Got him! Whew. Virgin Gaze sounds good. Oh. 
Well, maybe that's... Actually, that's pretty good. All things considered. That was kind of a hairy fight. Kind of a hairy fight. Kind of get... I kept getting deeper and deeper into a dangerous situation. I'm still undergoing that uh, very important question of uh, why stall them when you can just kill them with a bomb? Kind of like uh, tossing up whether I want to do a uh, flashbang versus uh, just regular canister bomb. Granted, my solution is throw both, so, you know, something's working. Uh, found a lot of rings down here. A lot of blues. Hmm. Got that blast wave. That piercing gaze does look really good. I'm gonna need a ton of magic to get it, though. Really, where the hell are you guys coming from? Yeah, in the weekend mornings, I've kind of uh, translated into a uh, indie tryout time, which is kind of like I go through one of those a uh, goofy indie games, you know, hit or miss. <laughs> I mean, I lucked out on this last one. In other waters, is really good. If you know, purely narrative based. Oh my god! Although I think the UI is really good. Which is kind of like undergoing that simulation like a uh, UI is incredibly amusing. Just like, you know, there's something uh, visceral about just pulling a lever when you, you can just otherwise click a button. This character has a lot of uh, damage coming out. Like, even just the basic attack. It's kind of just ripping things apart. I just gotta do something about that durability. So squishy. Although I do abide by uh, what Miss, Mr. Miyagi says. Uh, the best way to avoid getting punched is don't be there.
people after uh, Brer Thorn or whatever his name is. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I really am playing this character kind of fast and loose right now. I mean, I've been 20 minutes in the game, and I've already almost died like 10 times. Exactly. And that's kind of the uh, cra a good part, because a, uh, yeah, what once you get to those damage reductions, the enemies just stop a uh, dying fast enough. They, uh, that's when you really start encountering a lot of uh, problems with the character. Although I'll be honest, oft times a uh, it's less about the armor that a uh, stops that has me hit a wall. It's a uh, the amount of damage they do, of course. But secondly, is the a uh, the fact that they just got so many goddamn hit points. Like it's great that you can do a ton of damage in a second, but you know if they can survive for more than a second, then you're in trouble. <laughs> I was looking for a thing. I picked it up. I forgot what it was. Must not have been important. Very well. Oh yeah, I was going to look at my uh, counter sprawl. I actually increased its lightning damage, lightning potential, the concussive bomb, which I'm pretty happy with. And yeah, I'm gonna keep pressing forward until I get some of this guy, the improved casing. Put some levels in that. Yeah. I also got to deal with my uh, energy problems, but that's pretty consistent with all my characters. I just got way more buffs than I got mana. Yep. Oh, there you go. That skill's not ready. Slight elevation difference is my best friend here. That skill's not ready. It's like getting hit by one of those spikes. You think you're okay, and then you just see your uh, health go down forever. <laughs> it's like, why isn't it stopping? Oh god, it won't stop bleeding. There we go. I can't carry My inventory is full. Your inventory is full. Okay. The fact that I just picked up two vile scorn greaves is a little disgusting. I mean, come on. See anything you like? The poison character's dead and gone. Don't rub it in. I mean, that's a lot of resistances. Pierce resistance, poison resistance, bleeding resistance. Oh, I'm not even over on any of these. You know, all things said and done, my resistances are actually pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I don't know all of what I skipped. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I, I don't think I talked to a Fulgrim since I've gone to a uh, homestead. Or turned in the rovers. Yeah, actually, that's a... Uh... <laughs> I think that's kind of a uh, continuing issue with uh, my uh, playing this over and over and over again, is the fact that a, uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm forgetting parts of it. All right, let's, let, let's go get some of those bags. <laughs> the sack quest, if you will. Hey, guys.
I didn't I? Wow, that's way back there. Huh. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, you know, you start pressing forward, it's like, you know what? There is only one way forward. I'm not here to make friends. We walk forward, we keep going. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, thanks for the bag, man. You're the best. <laughs> I just saw a zombie. I don't want to fight a whole zoo. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, where we got? Smuggler's Pass? Yeah, Ogrim, you got you got something for me, right? Whoa! This is not where I need to be. I need to be here. <laughs> it's kind of like times when uh, you're younger, you have too much to drink, and you don't quite remember what happened the night before, so you kind of have to retrace your steps. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of think that my, uh, uh, wait, at New Harbor? What the hell's New Harbor? Oh, I literally, okay. <laughs> I mean, try to picture it. Some guy walks in, does something, you know, arguably heroic, like, hey, can you go take care of this for me? He goes and does it and just fucking leaves. <laughs> doesn't say bye, doesn't ask for a reward, he's just gone. Yeah, thanks, hi. I guess in this case, he shows up about two and a half weeks later. And he's like, hey, you know, about that a uh, cash you're about to give me. <laughs> There we go, now we press forward. <laughs> Scorch ends, you say? Uh, maybe, yes, most definitely. But if I lose these pants, I lose my shoulders. And that, I cannot abide. But hot damn. I, mean, I might as well take the slightly better ones. I'm kind of impressed that the uh, Vile Scorn set isn't a set at all. It's just kind of a. Uh... No. I should really put things in my uh, new bag. Oh, wait, I didn't even loot the rest of this place. Easily distracted. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna kill like a, uh, L the Ligorian just by accident without even realizing it and leaving. It's like, oh yeah, you saved the world? Well, where'd he go? I don't actually know. <laughs> he just wandered off. cave I was just in. Alright, now I gotta go slay some, a, uh, some manticores. I feel like I should be, uh, caught up. I'm not going to the, uh, Steps of Torment until I, uh, at least get to Homestead. Because I can definitely use a couple more levels under my belt.
I mean, I'd probably be fine, but those cross crossbow guys just kind of rip me apart. Trying to remember what all my buffs are. Of course, I think they're up in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the third bag's supposed to come from, but I feel like I'm caught up with quests. I could be wrong. These things are manticores. All right, all right, all right. Wait, didn't one of those guys want me to kill Briarthorn? Oh, I skipped one. <laughs> I mean, Blackwater Bomb is a, uh, or it's no Blackwater Bomb, but Canister Bomb, it does get pretty strong, all things considered. I wonder if it tapers off towards the end of the game. Gotcha. The Bug Queen. Which is frankly insane that the Bug Queen's, like, basically max level. Or I think level 60. Or at least was with the last character. I might be misremembering that though. Oh yeah, Fort Icon. Yeah, I seem to remember there's just an absurd level of bags in this game. I mean, it's not quite the pet in a uh, torchlight, but it's still pretty good. I mean, a torchlight, I could just never go to town again if I could get away with it. I know the Mancores are kind of glass cannons anyway, but still, it's rather startling. Yeah, look at that! Yet. I mean, I really need to get out of my strategy of stand there and get hit. It's not working out for me.
Now, it is not lost on me that over the last day, uh, half hour or so, I have got an entire equipment set. Were I still playing a poison character? I feel like the game is taking some time to mock me a little bit. I mean, let's be fair, I found plenty of uh, elemental damage stuff too. So maybe it's not so bad. can't shoot some enemies just harder. Like, not to the point of doing more damage, it's just having a bigger impact saying that, that you have inconvenienced me for the last time. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I can't do that yet. I'm stunned. Come on. That skill's not ready. That skill's not ready. Maleficus. Isn't that that offhand? No, it's an axe. Interesting. Okay. You know, the Chaos Barbarian sounds like a fun character. Should this one bite the bullet? Still lose the shoulders, okay. How much do I need for this though? 297? Madness. Most stats, more better. That skill's not ready. Which, I don't think I've had a character with this kind of a strength malice. In a long time, like, even Laser Cannon Death Sentence didn't have that. I might have just put a little too much into, uh... Cunning. I probably should have been balancing it a little bit more. It shows you which one has a poison gland on it. 
Just so there can be no ambiguity. Chair squeaking like crazy. Okay, here we go. Sorry, gotta fix my chair a little bit. There we go. Better posture. Less my spine turn into a pest dispenser. I really don't feel like shedding my vertebrae in that way. Gotta re resist the uh, completionist compulsions. <laughs> there's always something in my brain that says like there's a very slight dark shape over there. I must fill it in. By God, the map will be complete. What a name. How did I get over here? Gotcha. Given the opportunity, a, uh, I don't know, that was a huge uh, XP infusion. <laughs> I guess in cash, too. for that. Oh, whoa. Puncturing Raider Howda of Wildfire. I mean, yeah, I guess you're going to replace my offhand, given the opportunity. What about you? No. The Howda. I don't think I've ever heard of a, a gun called a Howda before. Is that like some kind of obscure, like, I don't know, hand shotgun thing? I'm not the biggest gun person in the world. I do have some knowledge just from general history, but I'm sure there's people out there who can blow me out of the water in that. <laughs>
skills not ready. Which they go into depth with a lot of the monster species, like the Yeti, the uh, the Slith, are like a big story point about how they're a created race. But I don't think a, uh, any of the logs go into any depth about what the Grovels are. Just city, silly little uh, goblin guys that just happen to be a menace to everybody. Like, they're not some crazy, uh, roving mutation. They're not a, uh, you know, a man-made monstrosity. They're just an all-in-all -in -all inconvenience. Chaotic Melon. Huh. I remember asking about him previously. As somebody who was a crazy big fan of the game. Unfortunately passed away. I mean, obviously I checked this place out. Although I'm pretty sure the boss of this area is probably going to kick my ass. Something fierce. I see your damage resistance and I raise you light of sight. Although shooting a tiny little ball at a skeleton does not seem terribly effective. Yeah, that's a, uh, the gunner guy. I remember he gave me a lot of trouble in the previous run. So we'll see if he actually just straight up kills me with this time. I am going to kite my heart out. probably low. Eh, it's not 80. <laughs> it's not the worst in the world, though. But isn't that the truth? They, uh, you don't have to worry about resistance if you don't get shot. I say as I'm getting shot a lot. My dodging skills leave something to be desired. Like a bullet hell game for me is just effective tanking. Get as much hit points as possible and then you don't have to dodge. As much. <laughs> crazy my pierce resist is max so you'd think those uh, guns would do significantly less level. Don't mind if I do. Uh, 
do. I don't actually know if I want any of these. Searing Might? Uh, two-handed mail. Oh, that's two-handed. Uh, Searing Strike. Plus five crit. Modified by 15%. Minus energy skill cost. I like that. We increase that. I put a little lightning in there. Oh, you mean the uh, this guy, Searing Might? Yeah, that, I, I read that. I'm learning, see? <laughs> I'm reading before I click it. But yeah, it requires a one-handed melee weapon, okay. You know, see, I opened my mouth and I realize that a, uh, perhaps I should just keep it shut until I finish reading. <laughs> there. But I didn't get no fancy schmancy education just to read. <laughs> My reading days are behind me. <laughs> oh, I figured that would go over that wall. I love these skeletons because you can be walking along having a good time and suddenly you're just surrounded by 50 people well ah it's him or her i don't know but whoa that's a lot of damage Level is 42? Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. That skill's not ready. Excuse me. I'm trying to kill your boss, thank you. Oh god, I keep clicking off the screen. <laughs> I'm falling apart. The cruel. This character gets like a crazy volley attack. I want a volley attack. I mean, I'm pretty sure there is like an ether shot ability out there in this game. Whoa. I can't do that yet. You would think a flashbang would uh, affect their aim. Inquisitor. Okay. I mean, I've been kind of uh, slowly going the uh, top row. Just mainly because there aren't a lot of Inquisitor abilities I want. But a. Uh, yeah, getting the colorful one sounds like it would be fun.
little by little. I may not be fighting fair, but I'm fighting to win. I whipped it with that grenade. Which actually, I don't know what this uh, Word of Renewal does for me. <laughs> oh, I just take less damage from Eldritch. Well, that's not very good. I mean, it heals you. It's not terrible. Don't look away. Well, no, no, no. I saw that it healed me, and that's really what I want it for. <laughs> I did read that part. And it wasn't like always affects, you know, immediately after you take X amount of damage, too. I was just curious about the other benefits. In my mind, everything else was just added bonus. <laughs> gotcha it only took 50 tries but god damn it I got gotcha. you ah. this gun is kind of cool but not for this character like the ether damage is pretty legit though Ripped him up. an additional aside I'm finding that off times a uh, the primary class I choose and uh, oh jeez in this character it was inquisitor and the last character was necromancer but a uh, I'm finding that there's a lot of I keep choosing classes that sound like they're a good idea but I don't actually want anything in their tree <laughs> Off a lot of damage. I can't tell what's there, ether fire, and what's mine. when they line up in a straight line.
So I am accepting bets. Right now, it's just going to be like guesses. But how far do you think uh, I'll get with this character? Judging by current reckless behavior. Which wall do you think I'm going to hit? Because I think I'm going to do pretty good all the way up until the Ligorian. And then that's where I'm going to fall on my face. I'm gonna need to put a lot of work into my uh, resistances. Yes, I see you, sir. The Black Blade. Oh, Black Dancer. I don't know how I feel about a character named Roman in a world where there's no Rome. Got to get it to the end of that bridge. Yeah, right here. Man, Steps of Torment's going to be brutal if I can't just get a grenade in... priests. me and nicely asking them to please stop shooting me with crossbows. It is oh so very rude. There we go. Get up to the castle and then a uh, pop a portal so I can sell all my stuff. I also gotta upgrade one of my guns. Put on the a uh, you know the smelling salts or whatever it is. <laughs> I think it's imbued silver to be perfectly honest. I take a lot more damage there than I did, which is a pleasing surprise. Do you see this 
guy here? He's just standing there. He's dead, but he hasn't fallen over. <laughs> I just got rid of the girdle vitality. Can't carry anymore. Yeah, that's about right. It's about getting to your limits. All right. You like. Man, the blaster. Turns gloves are quite good, but well, there is no but. It, they are quite good. <laughs> I'm having a hard time giving up this uh, armor here. Like, the armor's not great, but the resistances are phenomenal. Which, I will admit, will probably be my downfall at some point. Yeah, but if I put these on, I don't lose my... <gasps> oh my god, it's a red letter day. Sorry, 440? That's disgusting. Yeah. Maven's lens is quite good. I forgot, it actually increases elemental damage. That's legit. Exactly. Which, I mean, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I do very much care about armor value, but a uh, come see what's It's not the highest ass. priority. I mean, I feel like there's got to be something Let's that a uh, boosts up. my, you know, survivability. I'm just not quite positive as to what that is yet. Also, what is purified salt? What more can you do to salt to make it more pure? <laughs> oh, I want to wear that. The Flames of Ignifar is a thing I'm not using, but still. I mean, the plus three to Fire Strike, though. Nah, easily makes up with it with the uh, additional armor and the uh, burn damage. Yeah, plus seven, damn. Let's put some devotion points in. Cool. Now I wanna get to this torch, uh, Olsen's torch. But I want to uh, fill out my resistances while doing so. So, I believe I need green. So let's go, I don't know, fire. I'm sorry, what? That's a lot of damage. I need another red. Uh, I 
I've already got that one. So what gives me red? There we go. I mean, physical resist is good. It gives me energy. Ooh, elemental resistance. That's a good idea. Yeah, the Viper might be a good choice. Gives me spirit and cunning. Plus absorption. Plus vitality. I mean, decrease elemental resistance is all well and good, but... I'll pump that up, then I'm going to be able to get uh, Solalil's dagger. Yeah, that's definitely a good point. And this character is kind of an anomaly. One, I do a ton of elemental damage. But also the fact that I, uh, I don't really... Man, everything's blue. Uh, I don't actually have a ton of resistances, which... I will easily call that a weakness. Yeah, let's do that. Pop, pop, pop. Is there ever a purpose to not complete a devotion tree? Like, let's say I like, I don't know, the Breedle, the Scarab. And then I just want, like, one or two of their abilities and then go somewhere else. Is that even a viable strategy or is that just a complete waste of a direction? Yeah, how'd that, how'd that hit us? Still good here. We're doing okay. I really don't have much in the way of, uh, I mean, I got way too much bleed resist. How much pierce resist? I could probably drop that silk swatch in favor of some other resistance. I'll put thought into it. I'll put thought into it. That's a good point, because, yeah, if you don't complete it, you don't get the, uh, uh, these guys. No, I think that's a completely valid point. If only I wanted blue. Okay, Solalil's gonna get me there. I don't really care about the chaos damage, but fire damage is always awesome. And then Elder's Fire, because, of course... Yeah. I mean, there gets to a point where, uh, late game, where you just get the absolute maximum, uh, skill point, or, uh, devotion points, and then it's like, you could be halfway through a tree when they're just like, yeah, you're not getting anymore. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> Whoa! I'm producing a frankly unreasonable amount of fire here. Which, even though I enjoy doing a ton of fire damage, I'm not above getting really any enter uh, entertainment, uh, elemental damage. Turn step, huh? No. No. How come his hands are fire damage, but his feet are not? I don't like how tall that hat is. <laughs> I know that kind of uh, was a blow for my regular damage, but I think it'll add up. The armor's gonna, whoa, that it's gonna go ready. a long way. In the end, I want piercing gaze, but this is a good holdover. Nap it up.
You know, when the armor says of spines, I know they mean like a uh, cactus spines. But for some reason, my brain just automatically goes, oh yeah, obviously. It's the coat of backbones. Not to be mistaken for the uh, pants of femurs. I know the crickets are the true fans. <laughs> They'll never lead me astray. <laughs> we can only admire their devotion. A lifetime of saying stupid stuff. I'm pretty sure that just one more isn't phase me. <laughs> oh boy. I gotta look at this one more time. I think periodically, every time I get hit, I just throw a canister bomb at all times. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. I mean, I'd rather not get hit at all, but... shooting the doorway. Thank you. Players was a bard. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> a penalty? Like a bad joke penalty? That's rough. <laughs> I do like that though, like a critical fail. You know, not just a bad joke, but like an off color joke that not only are people a, uh, not laughing, but they're actually angry when it's done. <laughs> Like, you have ruined their day because of a joke. Which I feel like would be impressive upon itself. confess it is not only a uh it's one of two classes that not only have i not played a uh, bard um but i don't think i've been in a campaign that's had a bard which i consider myself somewhat fortunate but what what 
What? Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Gives you a quest for his boss. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, they, uh... I mean, I'm dead. So, I can't really do that. But, um... This game's pretty good at a, uh... Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ah, another one bites the dust. <laughs> yeah, one of the big guys kind of slapped me, and I, uh, I didn't have it in me. It's okay. Waterloo? No, it wasn't too many. I mean, there was a lot of guys, but that's not really a problem. It's just the fact one of them decided that he needed to do 90% of my health and damage. <laughs> it's because I replaced my hat, isn't it? Crap. All right, what's the name? Let's go with... Let's go on the Napoleon tree trip. Uh... Pierre. Man. I'm going through characters pretty quick. <laughs> People are gonna start thinking this is a real-time strategy, like Starcraft. Still drawing. You. He's a. All right. What are we doing this time? I was thinking like a Chaos Barbarian could be cool, but I kind of want to be a caster. The bodies that you will need. Hmm. That was rough. <laughs> I resolve, though, that I'm probably going to make this character much more durable. Yeah, that could be cool. Although, I, uh, people have warned me that's a tough one to get off the ground. Like, it's good, it's just not a uh, immediately good. Although, an Arcanist, that is a good idea. Yeah, let's go the Arcanist route. That sounds fun. We kind of go on the uh, elemental damage route. I do like the idea of having a uh, the stat stick, if you will. maybe invest some points in a uh, health regeneration. I was even thinking about it, too. I just uh, opted against it, thinking, oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Damn. I mean, in all honesty, I was in a place that was way higher level than I should have been messing around with. But I did not anticipate it being that squishy. That was rough. Alright. We can do Arcanus. Replicating Missile is good. Oh, it does Ether damage? Elemental damage? I'm going to need to put a lot of stats in that. But Lightning is good. Freeze damage is good. Definitely need to get that one, the Elemental Exchange. I really like this, uh, Taurus and Sky Shard. This ability is amazing, but I've already done it. Let's do it, Replicating Missile. Panetti, take me away. Oh, yeah, what an attack. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Alright. Now that I've kind of gotten into habit, I mean, okay. I'm gonna name my character class after I beat Warden Krieg, but a, uh... I don't know. I, I think the Disco Bomber yet. seems like a good one. The Laser Light Show. Doesn't have the same a uh, ring to it as get dreaked upon, though. <laughs> Panetti. We'll find a catchphrase. We'll find a catchphrase. Although, if this guy is it, if this is a, uh, if just the answer is being an Arcanist and I will win, then I've just given up on all other classes. <laughs> it doesn't really have a very resounding impact, does it? It's more like a swish. But I'm sure that'll change as I level it up. Add some lightning to it. There we go. I wonder what my secondary class should be. I will have nullification. That's way too good of an ability. Rebound. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I might not want to put points in here. Because, like, obviously I'm not trying to hit things. The energy leech sounds good, though. Maybe, perhaps, I should just keep going down this tree. And go on the standard abilities. Inner focus, always good. I don't know. I mean, the uh, Oathbringer, they have a lot of uh, fire abilities. That could be pretty handy. Or maybe go soldier for just nothing but passives. Yeah. And I'm starting to think similarly. Like, having the ability to shoot is all well and good. Ah, actually, okay. Hear me out. So let's say, uh, Panetti, one of the big, uh, arguments people have against it is the fact that it takes so much mana. And, uh, as I do have mana issues. So, like, having some ability to do damage with your weapon might be, might not be remiss. I don't know, what do you think? With that in mind. Oh, okay. Wait, you didn't even pick up a second class until after level 30? That's insane. <laughs> like, not even the buffs? Actually, increase the fire damage uh, is decent enough. In fact, what happens if... <laughs> I've turned left click into Panetti's. We're being revolutionary here. Isn't there a boss... Yeah, there we go. That's a pretty strong ability. 
I'll, I'll tell you what. Bleeding. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I hear what you're saying. I mean, that's a, uh... That's indeed a hell of a strategy. I can't say I've tried it before. I think there's something to be okay that's actually gonna drive me crazy i gotta <laughs> i gotta change that back <laughs> yeah although i think i will drop a uh the elemental exchange yeah i'm gonna alternate between physique and a uh, spirit because cunning while nice is not crucial Let's just drop blues right off the bat. You know, with the Grim Dawn Veteran Hardcore Challenge, though I do uh, refuse to accept defeat, mainly because I, uh, I'm as stubborn as hell, this challenge has kicked my ass quite a bit. Do you think a knife is uh, gonna be the thing to do? Because, I mean, like, scepters tend to do the uh, elemental damage. Or is the sacrificial knife actually add to Panetti? Oh, okay, interesting. Because I seem to recall there's a lot of uh, items that do give a ton of points to Panetti, specifically. But having not used it, a, uh, I don't recall what they are. Oma spines, you say? Oh, gotcha. Physical spirit. Okay. So on the surface, yes, this ability is very colorful, but I will not say it has a very satisfying impact. I can't do that yet. It kind of just goes poof. I don't have enough energy. You don't have enough energy. Okay, strength. Well, that's not bad. A, uh, I could also consider a uh, if I find handguns that do plenty of uh, 
resist. I mean, really, it's going to be the offhand that gives me the most benefit, right? Like, that's going to really pump out the elemental damage. There's plenty of them. Actually, that's a question. So, let's say Panetti here. It does specifically elemental damage, right? And let's say I get an item that specifically increases my fire damage. Does that... Oh, yeah. It's the coolest thing. But don't you understand? I'm a demo in real life, too. <laughs> Thingo Boom is a... Uh... It's a way of life. I can't do that yet. But I think the crystal swish will grow on me. Makes it feel, uh, I don't know, elegant? I don't truly know the definition of that. I can't do that yet. Alright, so this is actually giving me fire damage. But yeah, back to the question. The uh Yeah, increase elemental damage. If I specify a particular element yeah, that increases it a little bit. Yeah. Got a thing elegant, crystalline, slidey thoughts. There we go. At least it's doing a lot of damage. There's other abilities that just do not have that oomph. Oh, yeah, the question is a. Uh, if something uh, focuses on elemental damage specifically, such as this, uh, would raising a single element actually be considered, um, you know, increase that damage? So, like, if I made a fire focus Panetti... I mean, I like having the option of just doing any element. My energy is low. Come on, mana potion. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be rough. That skill's not ready. Oh my god, I almost died already. I like how he's just, say, uh, walking up to me out of pity. It's like, oh no, let me get in front of my minions to give you a hand here. You look like you're having some trouble. Like, don't you patronize me. <laughs> I can't do that yet. Oh, yeah, this is going to take a lot to get off the ground.
Give me that mana absorb. There we go. All right, let's see. Yeah, the demo died. How you doing, Generate? It's good to see you, bud. Elemental damage presides a third of damage to each fire, cold, and lightning. So your missile is 75 elemental damage, 25, 25, 25. Oh, okay. So, okay. And uh, this is hypothetically. Um, actually, is this offhand just like automatically good now? Oh, hell yeah. Goodbye, gray shield. Um, so hypothetically, let's say I got a, uh, like, how do the percentages work, if that makes sense? A, uh, like, let's say I get this that gives me 21% fire, and then I get a, uh, you know, something that gives me 215% cold damage. Like, it would increase... I think I'm answering my own question as I'm seeing it out loud. <laughs> I might be overthinking it a little bit. I should just be focusing on things that give me elemental damage. And energy. Energy is always good. There. Let's carry around this guy's head. There we go. So actually, now that I'm a, uh, thinking about this guy, he's actually going to get pretty powerful. Or he's going to look pretty funky because I'm not going to have to specify on a particular element. Just anything that does elemental boost is better. Like, I can take cold damage. I can take... Oh, stop shooting at me, please. That's kind of cool. I'm going to be able to a uh, really branch out in what I can do. It's so weird collecting a uh, yellow items again. But yeah, degenerate the a. Uh, the demo died fairly recently. I just got, like, something walked up, slapped me in the face, and he just fell over. Okay. So, yeah, I can... I should definitely focus on things that specifies on an element, but I definitely don't have to restrict myself on a particular element. Yeah. That's okay, I've decided... I'm going Arcanus with this one because a uh, my track record is the uh, more of a wizard I am, the happier I am. But a uh, I am going to be focusing on armor class. Armor class is going to be huge. My resistance is also going to be huge. We're going to be the unkillable wizards. <laughs> Mind you, we're still very early game. I might just say. Uh, Completely capitulate with life and a, uh, you know, we'll back to, be back to square one. So we're kind of think, uh, theory crafting, uh, secondary classes. I'm thinking that a, uh, since I can kind of pick any element, I don't know, uh, would a, uh, even though I'm not using shields, how viable do you think an Oathbringer, a uh, secondary class, would be? Just for their, like, fire damage, their passive damage, or their passive resistances. The ability to use a shield. I mean, I might not use that one, but still. <laughs> So 
sounds like it'll still be pretty strong. That's right, you play that E-string. Boy, do I go through ammo very quickly. Or, uh, mana. Of course. <laughs> I can't do that yet. I think I've forgotten to turn in the quest again. But I need at least six scrap. Five scrap. That's right, Pharos. I win. Strap it at three. I need two more. Well, at least I'm leveling quickly. Those fire guys hit like a truck. Or at least for an early game character. With no resistances. Alright. Okay, thoughts. This does plus 10% elemental damage. Is that to my spells? as well increases it also increases my uh, energy regeneration which is huge maybe I do keep going into elemental exchange even if I'm not attacking because it seems to give other very good benefits Although one thing I will say about this a uh, hardcore challenge, and yes, I do agree, it's probably not a uh, a credit to my playstyle, but a uh, I have been able to explore a lot of different kinds of characters, which is kind of cool. Like use abilities I wouldn't have normally have. Like without this, I don't think I ever would have made a Panetti's character. Give me resistance, not energy. Do it.
totem already, huh? Interesting. There we go. I, I don't like do how it. my guy goes behind the totem, just touch it. greens though no greens that makes me sad the ones I got are pretty good hmm. well Carry anymore. There we go. Going to the next level. There. I can wear stuff. Dead a creature. I need some time to plant. Come see what's left of my wares. Get my quest spent. of getting the first bag. Greetings, child. Getting all the easy XP. Yeah. Welcome to my rift. You don't remember it. Excellent. Ah, I would have to. I'm sending you over. Impressed? Well, since I'm this. There we go. Speedrunner strats. At least for the beginning of the game. I wonder what the fastest a uh, Grim Dawn speedrun is. I mean, aside from the achievement of uh, beating Krieg at level 10, which is insane, uh, I don't think I've really heard about an ARPG being speed ran. I also wonder how developers think about speedrunning. Like, it's true that somebody enjoyed their game enough to play it ad nauseum, but on the other hand, they've kind of trivialized their work.
57 minutes, 45 seconds. That is insane. Although I can kind of see that. If you just kind of like skip through to the main mission, you don't necessarily have to get a ton of levels. You don't have to sit and listen to characters talk. Uh, that there's pretty good. The Panetti meter says it does not change. Okay. Wait, pray tell why doesn't it change? 20%? 21%. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay. I mean, still, that's pretty uh, impressive. Any percent? I mean, they're just uh, their goal is just to get through the game a uh, a trickster. Wait, what's a trickster? Is that a? Uh... I guess odd question. What level did they get to? If they beat the game in a uh, fifty-seven minutes. And that is just if you have the information in front of you. Ow. Yeah, okay, stun's pretty rough. I think stun has been the bane of a great many of my characters. Interesting, okay. That's kind of an interesting a uh, combo. I mean, I guess you do a... Uh, they probably want lightning damage. Two-handed. And this is just speculation on my end. A... Uh, Oh, 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 those spiders do a lot of damage. You know, I think the thing with Panetti's is that it would be really good because it uses so many damage types. Like, any element, uh, you eventually put in a ton of uh, ether damage to it. So, pretty much, you can wear any damage-increasing equipment and just be fine. Axe and a stat stick. Oh, okay. Huh.
I mean, frankly, that is ins uh, insane. And I am going to assume that they uh, considered beating the game uh, from beginning to uh, Ligorian. Yeah. Or at least to me, that's what the uh, core game is. No expansions. I mean, that's absolutely wild. This definitely kind of went forward at all costs. <laughs> I think the most impressive speedrun I've seen is somebody a uh, beating Marwin in, I believe, eight minutes. Like, that is insane to me. I mean, as you can probably guess, they used a, uh, the Ikarian Leap, but still. They had an entire build in mind. Actually, now that I'm saying it out loud, it might have been 11 minutes. Because you had they had to get through the uh, intro cutscene. Oh, you know what? I can uh, totally level up. So let's talk Oathkeeper. Yeah, is there a reason not to do this? Default weapon attacks, I don't need that. Safeguard, don't need that. Maybe? No, I don't need that. Resilience? Maybe. Judgment? No. I'm starting to think the Oathbringer might not be a good choice. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's not the great one. How about... Like, who's got a good... A lot of good... Uh... Maybe we could go Demolitionist. They don't really have a lot of a... Uh... Buffs. So maybe not. How about Soldier, just for the defensive stuff? Physique and health. I don't need shield stuff. Physique and health. Elemental resistance. Resistance. Uh, offensive defense of armor. That's a shield thing. Uh, health regeneration. I can shout. What does that do? I taunt. That sounds like what I do anyway. Uh, to all damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to try this. I think I'm going to make... An incredibly tanky wizard. <laughs> like, I don't necessarily need elemental damage from this guy. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that. But this stuff, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What does that make me? I'm a battle mage. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, it's probably going to be one of the weirder characters I've made. Uh, spirit resistances, let's do it. The health regen's nice. Spirit's also nice. Yeah.
Casting that awfully slow. I can't do that yet. I like how this character is not so much swift, or the uh, enemy is not so much swift as my guy was particularly slow. So cold damage, lightning damage, frost burn. See, let's see how much this cranks it up. Boom. That's wildly underwhelming. Okay. But, I mean, we get the idea. The, uh, the more elemental damage of any type, the better. I can wear the super heavy stuff. I mean, I have a ton of health regen. Hopefully end up getting a ton of mana regen. My resistances are going to be off the charts. Oh, this is going to be a long one. I can't do that yet. <laughs> Boss has always been kind of brutal for this level. This has got a lot of hit points. Oh, that was a that was a panic potion. Shouldn't have drank that one. Skills not ready. Got fifty percent. do that yet oh boy it is still impressive watching my health just kind of jump down a little bit One thing I will say about Panetti's, though, is there's not a lot in the way of uh, damage over time, which is a little rough. Uh, I mean, that there would be pretty good. It's less armor, but a... Uh... No, I say it's very good, but maybe it's not. There we go. Easy money. blows my mind that there's still things that a uh, 
I can't wear as of yet. There we go. Yeah, we're going to the next stage of Panetti. Ah! Well, that's pretty good, too. Increases resistance. Nice. We got a lot of things to put points into. That is kind of the a uh, purview of the Arcanist. It's just like there's very few abilities that are bad. <laughs> you see anything you like? I mean, don't mind if I do. That's gonna jump. Once I get the a uh, uh, the ether damage on two. Officially done with a uh, yellows. I'll keep you stashed. I'll keep an eye out. We'll try to get as far as we can with this character. You look clear out. Well done. And a bag. You're back. One of my you've proved. Follow the rope. I think I might be uh, just high enough level to deal with Fuskwool. Yeah, my mana regen ain't half bad. I believe the elemental exchange might be paying off. Whoa! -ho. That was a startling amount of damage. Oh, there's two bosses. Great. Whoa. Well, that's kind of slightly more than I can handle. Let's get ah. not ready. Whatever you do, do not face tank. I can't tank. do that yet. Jeez, that did so much damage. Oh, come on. All right, one down. And a blue, no less. Nice. That's a pretty lucky drop.
And the terrain here is great for kiting, but shooting, not so much. Oh, Arbalest. That's a crossbow. I knew that. Boom. Hello. Of decay, you say? Go on. I don't need it. The ether damage is nice, though. Uh, you know, none of these are too great for me right now. Nice that that dropped. Under normal circumstances, that would be really good. Like, really good. Like, holy shit good. Actually. You know what? Oh, I can't equip it yet. <laughs> I think I'm going two-handed. That uh, Blackwood Arbalest is legit. It also increases Panetti's, which is insane. I just need the cunning. Well. I like how sometimes you can have a plan in this game. And then just others, the plan just falls into your lap. Like, I was going to have a stat stick and an offhand, but, you know, why not a two-handed weapon? I can't really think of a uh, reason why not. Maybe that's a, uh, this game telling me, like, look, I'm sorry. I'm gonna destroy you later, but I am sorry for now. The mockery can come later. not be tremendously cost efficient, but I don't know. Panetti's is not so bad. I mean, once you get the uh, mana to compensate, it really carries it pretty well. Although I do believe I probably need to increase my offensive ability because... The amount of, like, misses I do with Panetti's is kind of ridiculous. And who misses with the magic missile, really?
Just reputation. That's another thing I was a uh, investigating a little bit this uh, last weekend was Starfield. Hey, uh, I'm still not like 100% sold on getting it anytime soon, but a uh, it seems like they're adding to it, kind of like how I predicted. And I do gotta say that game does look very good. Like, graphically, it looks phenomenal. And I do kind of like the look of the NASA punk. I don't know, maybe after, like, two expansions, I might dive into it. Maybe if I get it on sale. That's also kind of crazy. A, uh, the only thing I can kind of think of is Dark Alliance, but they never really did make a uh, D and D focused ARPG. I mean, yeah, I understand that it's quite diff literally a uh, true RPG, but still, it'd be kind of cool to see it in this media. D and D heroes, really. Wait, isn't D&D Heroes the idol game? Oh, interesting. Huh, I might have to look into that. Is that like a super old game? Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, Dark Alliance, actually. Dark Alliance 2, specifically. I played the crap out of, uh... Back in the day. Back when I was rocking a PS2. Although, I don't know if I'd... Ar I'd, uh... Describe it as an ARPG. Really? Dark Alliance 2. That's been a hot minute since I played that game. They did a port of that on Steam? Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of a completely different I'm sorry. Gotcha. You know, I might actually have to get the Dark Alliance series. Although I'm kind of scared. I don't know whether it's a, uh, I would be seeing it through rose tinted goggles. You know, because I liked it when I was younger. I look at it now and maybe it's not so good. That might be worth a good adventure.
I'll save it for when I need to be hit by the uh, nostalgia train. <laughs> But yeah, when you said DA2, for some reason I was initially thinking about a, uh... Wait, that new Dark Alliance? No, 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 uh... When you first said DA, for some reason I was thinking Dungeon Siege. Uh... Dark Alliance 2 is a, uh, quite possibly the one I've absolutely played a long time ago. The new one, I don't know. That was me just being completely daft for a moment. Because <laughs> that's also a game I haven't seen in a hot minute. Which, I don't know, all of those old school RPGs? Like, they really don't make them like they used to. They, they're quite good. I mean, I don't know. Have you ever played the uh, uh, Wizardry series? The super old ones? Oh, nope. Yeah. Like, those games they, uh, are incredibly good, if a little outdated. Oh, okay, yeah. In fact, I think I have six on my uh, Steam, too. <laughs> Skills not ready. Oh, okay. Yeah. In fact, let me uh, pop up my Steam real quick. Let me see which one I have. Um, let's see, uh, Wizardry. Oh, I own six, seven, and eight. But I've only played eight. <laughs> but I saw that they are a, uh, they're coming out with a, a remake of the, well, maybe not a remake, a remaster of the, a, um, first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a uh, series that I definitely missed the bandwagon on. <laughs> Mage Storm Combat Pants. Okay. I know, right? <clears throat> In fact, I don't even know if uh, eight's the last one. I think it just kind of keeps going forever. <laughs> yeah, there's something in me that kind of wants to go like video game historian and go through the entire series. Maybe write like a lore essay. <laughs> From what I understand, the series is incredibly cool. And it's kind of like one of those old school dungeon crawlers that you... Oh, are you serious? That's insane. <laughs> That's like wizardry in the double digits. Time to play the game of wizardry 15. Oh, actually, I think uh, I think those are what I was talking about. Proving Grounds was the first one. Like, that was the remaster of one. Because, yeah, the entire uh, first game is like there's a mad wizard. And uh, he, you know, for some reason puts you to a test. It seems like a strange premise. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest. The fact that it just makes a uh, working on your computer that much easier. Because let me tell you, some of those old games do not run well. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But I mean, I really do love seeing the revitalization of games like that, you know? It's like a little slice of history that a, uh, gets, gets to be brought up. <laughs> barely as in it was too good, or barely as in a, uh, it was a little rough around the edges, the game. Yeah. Although I will point out, nostalgia goggles are a very powerful thing. Like, I remember looking at games way, like, in the past. And then remembering them in my mind, them looking so much better than they did. There was a uh, JRPG I used to play when I was younger. That was, oh, Milton, you could not have come at a worse time. That skill's not ready. But yeah, it was a uh, Legend of Ligaya, I think it was called. Like, it had this pretty cool martial arts thing where you had to make combos to do your moves and stuff like that. I remember that game looking absolutely phenomenal, but then I look back at it and it's pretty bad. <laughs> the graphics have not aged well. Ah, uh, yes, he healed. That skill's not ready. Here, give me a minute. I'll look over once Milton's dead. There we go. I was in a brief try-hard mode. Alright, see what she said. Uh, visually looks so much different. So long. Yeah! I mean, the fact that you can be a, uh, frickin'... <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, you know, it's a PS1 game, but like, you know, it's amazing how memory kind of distorts things in such a way that, you know, it just looks that much more appealing than it really it was. Or maybe go so far as to say that, like, you know, it's like what you remember comparatively, you know, it was really good, but it just didn't age. But yeah, Wizardry I thought was pretty cool because, I don't know, just the having the ability to make like a dogman sa samurai just seems absurd. <laughs> it seemed unique at the time. Another advantage of this character is I'm gonna be able to penetrate almost every single frickin' resistance available. And that makes me kinda happy. Alright. Sure. Maybe this summer, a, uh, after I move, I think that's when I'm going to start trying to do, like, a uh, the old games chronicling. <laughs> Give those old games, like, Dungeon Siege or a uh, Wizardry a shot. And then try to do some intelligent discourse about the evolution of games at the time. I think that could be pretty fun. I don't know how appealing it would be to see. Super old, ugly games. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you think a... Uh, 
would remasters count or would they uh yeah that's definitely true but a uh would remasters count or would they uh would that just be like a different a, a way to make them more accessible like how true to it do we think we have to be I mean, I'm leaning on remasters simply because I am not a technical savant. <laughs> and getting them to work might be a nightmare. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, too. I mean, there are, like, some old games that I really like that I just can't play anymore simply because, well, one, I don't have a disk drive on my computer. But two, like, I just cannot get it to work with a modern OS. But that's generally where I leave it to better people than I. <laughs> One more level, and I get a crossbow. And now he's getting pretty strong. Yeah. Although I feel like a uh, old school control schemes, like yes, they tend to be really bad and take a lot of getting used to, but when you do, there's something that is just like, it sticks really, really hardcore in your head. To the point where getting into other games tends to be kind of difficult. Kind of like the old school X-Wing Starfighters and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to break out a joystick. I do not own a joystick, but you know, the thought's nice. <laughs> the Inferno, huh? Wolven the Inferno. Annihilation. Good times. I really gotta remember that a, uh... Wait a second. Alright, hypothesize with me here. So let's say I get this guy, right? 10% physical damage converted into elemental damage. Cool, right there, that sounds awesome. Let's say I get this, where I have uh, plus 14% physical damage. Does 10% of that 14% get translated into elemental? Interesting thought. Like, would it improve my stat stick? I'm not going that direction, but it's worth a thought. That dangling corpse is uh, blocking my shots. That's a lot of poison damage. Yes, but no 
another slack room. Another slack room. You know, that's another thing about super old games that a, uh, boggles my mind. Because you can find almost every single a, uh, old game being played either on Twitch or a, uh, YouTube, right? Like, there's been a playthrough at some, but there's, like, a handful that I have never seen a, uh, done before. Like, I remember there's a, uh, series that I used to play. And this is a long, long time ago. It was on floppy disk, but it was la uh, Lands of Lore, I believe it was called. It was a series, and there was like 15 games. Like, as a little kid, I used to think that game was the shit, but, uh... I can see the weaknesses now. <laughs> I have a range of damage now. But yeah, the fact that it's not been on the internet, like, ever, kind of halfway convinces me that I made it all up. It's kind of one of those things where you start second-guessing yourself. <laughs> it's like, wait, did I ever really see this? Why hasn't it popped up ever again? <laughs> Was it all just a distant dream? game like that tend to be a guilty pleasure of mine. Just the fact that a, uh, some of them I played when I was way too young to even remember them. Or even have any form of appreciation for. But others just, you know, it just kind of shows where games, gaming has started and where it came from. I mean, hell, Guilty Pleasure Games is a uh, kind of a interesting thing to do. I don't know, Jared, do you have a Guilty Pleasure Game? Like one that you have a hard time saying, yeah, actually, I think it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I know, for me, it's always been those a uh, silly uh, hidden object games, like those Nancy Drew things. I can't get enough of those. Like, if I'm in the mood for, like, a stupid little puzzle... Those just make me super happy. <laughs> and I know that I'm definitely not the target audience for games like that. And some of them are really not great, but uh, still. Oh, that's all good. I mean, hell, even the idea of considering it a guilty pleasure, I mean, there's really nothing wrong with just liking the kind of game. <laughs> yeah.
know, I honestly thought way back in the day that a Stardew Valley was going to be a guilty pleasure kind of game, but the more I played it, I mean, I know it's an incredibly popular game, but the more I played it, the more I kind of uh, grew to appreciate what it was. It's like, you know, this isn't a guilty pleasure at all. This is actually just a legitimately good game. Well made. Way too much depth than it really deserved. <laughs> That's definitely one of those games that, like, you know, you start playing, you know, right before Christmas, and they're like, wait, what do you mean winter's over? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really show because I've died a lot, of, a lot. But a, uh, it's kind of ARPGs like this are kind of good, a uh, quote unquote mindless games for me, where a, uh, I can actually just you know talk about something else, think about something else, do something else, and just be fine playing it. <laughs> I think it's very much a good kind of game to get lost into a different conversation. Because let me tell you, there are some games that take a lot of focus. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... Honestly, we... I feel like there's so much in day-to-day uh, -day life. Like, even today, I was completely fried when I got home. You know, one of those staring off into space, losing track of time sort of thing. So this is kind of a great game to, you know, wind down, enjoy yourself. Never mind the fact that, you know, that skill's that character's not ready. permanently dead. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't wind down nearly that much. You know, I keep hearing flies and think they're the swarm of fly enemies, but it just happens to be a fly next to a corpse. Yeah, here we go. You know, actually, I strongly agree with you, but I kind of understand how. It's... As popular as these games are... I'm going to make the statement that I think it's really hard to make games like this really good. Because, like, what are the qualities of an ARPG that makes them, like, absolutely stellar? Because there are a lot of them. I played a bunch of them, and uh, not all of them are great. But, like, you got your Diablos. You got your uh, Path of Exile. You got Grim Dawn, you got Titan Quest is a huge one. Yeah. I think one of them that was the biggest disappointment for me was the uh, series, series of Victor Vaughn games. Like the Van Helsing one. Like the setting was similar to this. A little more uh, steampunky. But uh, the fact that they did it as a trilogy, they were kind of short, kind of a, uh, the depth wasn't the best. I don't know. It definitely didn't do it for me. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I do like me a bullet hell game from time to time. But that was definitely not it. it. I'll go so far as to say, like, yes, they had a lot of good ideas. But they kind of fell to the curse of trying too many things and being good at none of them.
Like, I'm all about, it's like, look, I mean, try good things, but a, uh, be, don't be afraid to specialize in something. <laughs> there we go. It's happening. We're a crossbow guy now, folks. My, uh, Panetti's got real strong. I believe these shoulder pads are possibly better in every way. I dare say that is the case. Yeah. I really look forward to never shooting this thing. <laughs> and then of course a uh not to mention that a uh games like Torch Torchlight, like they started amazing and then just went completely downhill. That's why I, I usually think an IP should probably end after the third game. Or at least a series should end after the third game. Because anything after that, you're just pretty much milking it. Like, you keep the world. You can have, like, new things in it, but... I don't know. If you're trying to sell the same story after, like, you know, five games... <clears throat> You're just kind of expecting the series to... You're, like, injecting lightning into something that a, uh, probably should have died a long time ago. Name one game. To, name one game that a uh, tries to maintain the same story for uh, several like editions, uh, and that's actually good after the third one. In fact, third might actually be too long too. And I don't include a uh, things like Final Fantasy, where the story is like different every time. Like, I feel like Mass Effect probably could have been summed up in, like, two games. <laughs> Although, I'll point out that I played the first one and not the other two. Oh, I heard Andromeda was really good. Kind of like one of those, a, uh, woefully underrated games. But still, same world, different uh, IP. got to the point where my Panetti's is exploding things. That there's pretty strong. Ow. But that also costs a whole lot of mana. Oh my god. Okay. Could you please stop striking me with lightning? Lord of the Storm. Yeah. I mean, let's be fair, though. Like, I feel like being struck by lightning by default should do a lot of damage.
But that was a pretty good resistance check. It's like, hey, are you focusing on your resistances yet? It's like, well, no, I'm glad you mentioned something. <laughs> I don't consider myself kind of in the big leagues yet. It's not until, like, you get to Burwich that a, uh, you really got to start being up far. Like, really start doubling down on your components, your devotions. You should kind of have a build in mind by that time. This is the cave that has Primordian in it. Well, I hope I'm actually uh, ready to face. I mean, I know my Panetti's is strong, but not that strong. That skill's not ready. Definitely got to be this character's uh, focus. It's just mana regen, I can't wolf mana. Yet. Just the ability to infinitely spam a single spell will carry this character through. Assuming I don't get hit by something really hard. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I definitely thought that was going to be much worse than it was. A tunic of Solalil's Malice. Go on. Or Solalil's. I suppose they call him. kind of nervous to take a look at the devotion tree because I have no idea which direction to go. There might just be elemental damage. A uh... As something to go for. I mean, I could go Korvac, but I feel like the petrification probably wouldn't help me all that much. The plus 50 at all damage is pretty good, though.
You probably won't like this. Soon, soon I'll be able to face tank some of these things. I certainly think with this guy trying to be the buff wizard might be awesome. Maybe I'll call him Harry Squatter. I feel like I'm going to be a uh, really low on the uh, tree here for a long time. <laughs> Just trying to max out some of these abilities. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mirror of Erocitus. Erocities. Ah, whatever. Uh, that being a cast ability? Maybe I should do that. Get like a good dedicated defensive ability. Whoa. Actually, increasing the elemental exchange would be huge. Death by the misclick. <laughs> yeah. Now what do we got? We got a little ways. Let's try to get through this cave and then we'll call it. Or to the next way portal. We're back to the uh, old schedule of 4.30 to 8. 
Always tragic, I know. But we can certainly be consistent. That's going to translate to fighting a giant rock, but by golly, are we going to give it a shot? That skill's not ready. Anybody's ever tried to justify uh, uh, cooldown in a, uh, or like ability cooldowns in a literary sense? Like make it make sense via lore? Because that's a very video gamey thing. Like, have you ever encountered an ability where you just decide that your skills are just not ready at this time? Like, eh, I'm not feeling it, feeling it for the next 45 seconds. I, mean, I think the closest thing I've got to somebody explaining it with lore was pretty much a uh, kind of like having to recharge. Yeah. Which even then, like uh, the character becoming tired, like it's not like they go through very long periods of rest. Like, the game implies that we go for an incredibly long distance, but, uh, we have a very aggressive forward march. <laughs> and very little stops us. I mean, you got survival games that kind of have sleep as a stat, but it's kind of hard to portray large gaps of time and still maintain continuous gameplay. It's kind of like one of those ludonarrative dissonance situations. Where they imply one thing, but the game is very different. That's an awfully good hat. But no, I'm looking for something slightly different. Woohoo! That boosted a lot.
really know what that uh, inside ability does. Like, it's chance on attack, but still. Alright, we're definitely gonna pump the next few levels into uh, mana regen. That's going kind of slow right now. And it can go much faster. I know it can. You know it can. We have such high expectations. The Molten. Old Elon. <laughs> I still do think these guys got awesome names. Like, not only do they got an awesome name, but they got a cool title going with it, too. I feel like that's something where uh, Forgotten Gods was slightly lacking. Like, the enemies just didn't have cool enough names. It was just some, like, nonsensical language name with a uh, apostrophe in it somewhere. Because isn't, isn't that a rule with a uh, fantasy stories? Is like, the more uh, ancient and mysterious a race is, the more apostrophes they have in their name. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure I played a fantasy game with a guy named Apostrophe with five apostrophes. I like to imagine he was named with a stubber with a stutter. <laughs> No, undo. There we go. Flame breaker, you say? Oh. I don't need me a shield. Those rocks, man. This is definitely a boss that is far more dangerous at range than up close. Oh good, I teleported into that. No! The boulder hit me! There we go. I can't do that yet. Eleven to all damage. I mean, I do all damage. Uh, no, I don't need.
force wave. crashed oh but I do think now is a good time I think a uh, the game kind of had a made a decision for me <laughs> it was perfect timing at least I wasn't like in combat or anything <laughs> but yeah degenerate I appreciate you being here mad hat if you're still here I appreciate you being here too I'm glad you're feeling better a hey, uh Really? I mean, it's crashed on me a couple times. Not often, though. I don't know what's triggering it. But I think that's usually around that area. I think maybe I just clicked the wrong sequence of buttons. Just Alt F4 one too many times. <laughs> it actually gave me a pop-up saying it crashed, too, which is wild. But yeah, I'm going to be on tomorrow afternoon. A, uh, I think we're going to go with Outwards tomorrow. A, uh, I don't know, unless you have a... Uh, preference between the two games <laughs> i'll go with your cue there but yeah the uh all these videos are going to be on youtube i'm going to be a uh working on that i've got some behind the scenes stuff that i'm working on too which is exciting and uh with that i hope you all have a good evening and i will see you tomorrow take it easy guys